Hi guys. So, um, it's been it's been some time. <laughs> I finally spoke out about my sexual assault. I did that a week and a half ago, two Sundays ago. My mom asked me questions and she didn't know anything about it and I really didn't want to tell her. I didn't want to tell her any details. I just told her that he would push me up against walls and kiss me and get me alone in private. Anything he could do to get me alone in private, he would do. Um. She was upset. And, um, she didn't go to church the next day, which was Sunday. Well, I told Facebook a week and a half ago, I just, I, I posted it and, um, I felt a lot better getting it off my chest. But, just, just my mom not knowing, and I still feel embarrassed about it, because it happened many times, but I just brushed it off as, it's okay, this is what boyfriends and girlfriends do. Um, she went to church this last Sunday, and then whenever I got home from work, I was the afternoon driver, so I got home at like 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Um, she said, okay, I talked to his parents, which is, uh, the church's pastor, and the pastor's wife and the pastor's wife writes religious books and I've tried telling both of those parents I've tried talking about it with them but they wouldn't listen they were like no, let's talk about something else. So that made me feel not heard, but now that my mom's talked to them and I just feel like I messed things up.
My mom's and me, if I still went to the church, but my mom still goes pretty regularly. If she continues, actually, it's probably right at the four year mark of me going to church there. Yesterday, whenever I was on a delivery, I saw his wife and she was looking really mad at me as she drove past me. So, she knows. And probably the whole church knows. I feel so vulnerable and exposed, but that's my own fault. But I just, I couldn't keep it in anymore. I went to therapy about 30 minutes ago just got done with it and drove home. I turned on the radio and the first song that came on was Fine Again by Seether. And that song means a lot to me because, you know, uh, whenever I was self-harming and stuff, it would kind of make me feel better and also going through the recovery with the eating disorder, it starts off as like, what's the point in this anymore? And then by the end of it, he's like, I know what I'm gonna do. It will be fine. So, that song, Made me start crying. And then the next song that came on was, uh, I don't, I don't know what this song is called, but it's a, it's a, like a girly empowerment song. Like, something about hair, got your nails done, how are you feeling, girl? Feeling good as hell. <laughs> um, that made me feel a little bit better, but then it reminded me, somehow, I would just... I kept thinking on the way home, I was like, I, I really messed up, like, is, his family probably doesn't believe me, I haven't had that talk with my mom on what they talked about, and what they said but she sounded anxious and knowing how they wanted to get off the topic of their son as soon as I brought it up basically pretty sure that they don't believe my story and that hurts <laughs> it hurts a lot <laughs> My mom's probably cried about this. I never wanted to make her feel guilty about anything.
And now, now that she knows, she's probably, like, blaming herself. And I feel like the church is going to be divided, even though I don't go there anymore. I'm friends with a lot of people on Facebook. I feel like I'm causing a lot of problems. I gotta go now, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.